My sister. Oh. Yeah. Which sister? My older sister. Nice. Because my younger sister won't answer the phone. <laughs> It was all practical. It was very practical. It was too practical. Very practical. Hello, I am Bella. Hi, I'm Pedro. And we are from... Welcome back everyone, it's Lucifer. This will be my Bella Ramsey in Pedro Pascal's meetings. The most entertaining minutes you need to see it isn't each time that we witness a collaboration between two individuals that make us scratch our heads and can't help thinking about how to cast mates from a show can ultimately be so close and jolly. All things considered, not in any event. Disapproving of the age contrast as of late two TV symbols have made it their central goal to entrance their developing fans with their dazzling fellowship after the debut of a profoundly expected dystopian series the remainder of us on hbo a few television slots have delivered their meetings with the cast and group of the show which uncovers a few entertaining responses to inquiries concerning the film and their relationship observing intently we say it is a recreated father-girl relationship or perhaps the sort of energies between a senior sibling and a more youthful sister anything it is we love it the giggling the humor the je ne sais es quoi between Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey simply continues getting intriguing now how about we investigate a portion of the entertaining meeting. Minutes and silly reactions from Pedro and Bella investigate the second when the two of them vow not to pass on one another pronouncing their obligation to being companions forever standing by. Listening to Bella let Pedro know that she will show up for him all the time liquefies the heart and afterward that embrace toward the end and goose bumping prompting I make you their quips and I don't think I took any props did you? You didn't steal anything? No, I, want, I really want a knife. I didn't take anything. Some, some gray this is, hair. So this is natural now? It's just completely natural. You suit it. It's flourished. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, you hadn't heard Oh, you hadn't even heard oh, of it. I hadn't even heard of it. I think there was all of this kind of like little unspoken relationship developing even before we got to Canada. Yeah. Um, is there internet? <laughs> <laughs> right. I know exactly what you're backing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take my um, my journal. Chuckling and fellowship during meetings will spread the word about you can't help thinking about how long they've won another and how they fostered this captivating compatibility and fondness for each other truly exciting to watch them all the time during a meeting with the Hollywood columnist the pair of Bella and Pedro interested their fans with the diverting and perky disposition that got Many spooning with happiness Bella welcomed the correspondence with the timid grin well Pedro copied her in a piercing voice high Hollywood request then energetic Bella asked Pedro who are you to which. Pedro flippantly answered I'm Bella Ramsey I'm Bella Ramsey making Bella and the journalists burst out in giggling Bella explained that Pedro's genuine name was Pedro Pascal yet Pedro wasn't prepared. To surrender the joke he proceeded to present himself as Pedro Ramscoll, which the two of them snickered at and proceeded with the meeting with a happy and comedic town these all happened not long. Before the initiation of the meeting with the Hollywood correspondent and obviously the questioner who was off screen laughed uncontrollably so boisterously attempting to get a handle on what the two Hollywood stars that have quite recently taken on the place of comedians were saying despite the fact that The Remainder of Us is a serious show bound with tension and high stakes Pascal reviews that. I was, if anyone else, if, if it had been anyone else other than Craig, we wouldn't have. Can I? Yeah, back then, this was, uh, so you couldn't now. 20 years ago. You could. Over 20 years ago. Really? Yes, but he did then give him a very generous sum <laughs> in the end. <laughs> right. I think that would be good in the apocalypse. <laughs> you just like swish my, <laughs> swish my way through it. <laughs> exactly, distraction. <laughs> Flash. Uh -huh. um, he took me to that the other day um, and, and said to the, he had to like pay $20 or something for parking. I anticipated being told. I'd heard rumors that like you get the phone call saying that like, listen, you're going to die this year. And, um, and holding a gun at you. Uh -huh. um, and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> 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 Called me oh. like, Several times. Oh, yeah.
several times in the show, in the obviously. Script. In the He's script. script, darling. The group was prepared to kill him and Bella as they were continually telling wisecracks making the film cycle perky yet obviously while the pair decided to have a ball by kidding and giggling the entire way through creation we don't get a sprinkle of that watching the adrenaline blasting show series was Bella's poise in the meeting exhausting however obviously not she didn't neglect to entertain us for certain clever explanations and noisy giggling like when the Hollywood columnist asked what was the last thing you ate Bella made sense of that she had subbed squeezed orange for milk. In her bowl of corn chips and dried strawberries her reaction was a surprise out of nowhere Pedro couldn't conceal his disarray like genuinely who blends strawberries and squeezed orange well we found. One individual to add to the rundown and it appears to be that the sets of Pedro and Bella are currently inseparable from jokes and giggling their standing for being entertaining in interviews. I get my teeth punched out, <laughs> my eyes squished in, and my head. He's one of the most generous people that I know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, coffee, like a, a barista. I've a, always wanted a coffee barista. shop in, in Manhattan. Can you do the... Here. Yeah. It's what like, did they ask you about most? Oh, people like to ask me what I thought of the ending. But Narcos, Watch Agent Bay. Oh my Watch God, really? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you... Oh, what you thought of the ending. Yeah, and I asked them back, what did you think of it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an opinion. And, oh, um, uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm, I knew that they were going to pull something really brilliant out of the hat as far as that was concerned. Do you disagree? Do you argue or do you just... No, I just no. let them like either... Prized possession. Do you want to, do you want to look at it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it helps to kind of actually visualize yeah, yeah, the words. Do you have a most prized possession? Artistic. Radio 1 The Questioner now mindful of the giggling and satire during interviews started by asking so folks the number of jokes that would it be advisable for me I expect in the show chime changed. With satisfaction fulfillment too many won't be enough Pedro plainly resided briefly this way and he added well since it's a parody show jokes are only similar to coming on and in the event that you don't get it then. At that point. You're not watching the show accurately the meeting with assortment was loaded up with a lot of cheerful minutes because of the ceaseless stockpile of jokes and giggling from the powerful combo of Pedro and Bella they were subsequently asked what their characters would do in the event that the episode had not occurred Pedro and Bella each offered various responses while Bella was attempting to <laughs> that was about as disturbing. Generally, the consensus is that it is that it wasn't great, but oh. I mean, I'd, it was seemed fine to me. Thing <laughs> <laughs> is her birth. <laughs> Not a gamer. Wow, they, you're. She they looked really <laughs> scary. That's like I really have to do that. If I don't know what I'm doing, it seems to work out the best. Like even acting, like I don't know what I do, and I remember, and I made a mental note to myself to remember that it's statistic because it really is. Save my, it changed my life. Why? Because I was fought it for so long. I was like, I, this is cheating. It's so terrifying. <laughs> Thanks. I guess it is, you know? <laughs> I didn't even realize it until now, really. <laughs> um, it is like the, the, the most. Consider a response Pedro rushed to say that Ellie would do hard medications Bella didn't actually mind to contend with him she smiled extensively and concurred presumably Bella proceeded to describe what she figured her personality would do we can't determine whether she was being snide or perhaps attempting to be really troublesome see with your own eyes Pedro concurred that his personality could have recently been a bombed performer he proceeds to share what he figures Joel would do if by some stroke of good luck there was no flare-up sharing his expectations that Joel would be a those shoes and that armor I'm taking and then I'm gonna not be able to do it oh. or maybe I'll just lose any ability that I have had produce the emotion rather than the emotion producing the tears right. it's so good that's my oh, most precious is it too late for me Watch you statistic. <laughs> you can borrow mine. You need to give me that tear stick. Grandad sometime or another one more inquiry from assortment interview was extraordinarily intriguing when they asked what they would do in the event that they were ever in a zombie end of the world. 
the inquiry obviously creeped Bella out while Pedro amusingly scratched his head likely to support his cerebrum for the most intelligent response Bella didn't sit around sharing that she would grip to. Pedro and Cry stick to one another and Cry Pedro anyway was more skeptical by saying that they would clutch one another and prepare to bite the dust Bella was quick to bring up that they would truly snicker and tell wise cracks until the end anyway the thing was more intriguing was when Bella recommended that Pedro could utilize his conversational abilities to arrange a departure Pedro dismissed. It reminding Bella how ludicrous it is hold a significant discussion with zombies the television line questioner suggested a profound conversation. I am new on YT I need your support if you like this video and subs for more upcoming videos. Uh, the showrunner. I got paid like a tiny amount of money for singing in, in a cathedral choir. There you go. Mine was, I don't know. Um, and writer of, uh, of The Last of Us took me to like, there's a super big one like on the side of a building. More than that. <laughs> 30 years ago!